365 days, 365 messages God has in store for you each day. No Fears, written by Vanessa Pizzuto. Thank you for joining us for today's devotional reading titled Empathy. Today is July 3rd, 2022, and the Lord is ready to speak to you through today's message. But first, let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this new day. Thank you for your peace and love. Please pour out your spirit upon us today so we can worship you. We humbly ask for a deeper relationship with you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Today's Bible text is found in Romans chapter 12, verse 15, and it reads, Be happy with those who are happy, and weep with those who weep. A childhood friend of mine told me her husband had passed away. When I heard her words, I felt pain was swallowing me whole, like a mudslide. We often talk about feeling embarrassed for others when we see someone doing something embarrassing, but we never say we feel pain for others. Why not? Because when we are willing to open our hearts to someone else's pain, what we feel is no longer theirs but ours. It is a shared pain that now resides in two hearts. That is empathy, feeling the same thing, sharing the same weight of an emotion so that someone else will not carry the whole load. Unfortunately, many times we do not react with empathy. When people we love suffer, it is so uncomfortable for us to see them that instead of crying with them, we try to make them happy or distract them. However, phrases like, well, it's not such a big deal, or there, there, stop crying, imply that someone's emotional reaction is unreasonable or that we do not want to hear more of it. Proverbs 25 verse 20 says, Singing cheerful songs to a person with a heavy heart is like taking someone's coat in cold weather or pouring vinegar in a wound. I do not mean to say we should never try to alleviate someone's suffering, but that we should do so without denying or downplaying their emotions. What we say and do has to be for their own good, not to spare us from feeling uncomfortable. Empathy requires courage and emotional integrity. Sometimes a misfortune is so big and mysterious that instead of accepting that our understanding is limited, we try to justify God. Like Job's friends, we look for someone to blame. Job chapter 4 verses 7 and 8. Like the disciples, when they saw a man who had been born blind, we wonder, who sinned? John chapter 9 verse 2. It is hard for us to accept the mystery and admit we do not have control over what happens. We think our duty is to provide a perfect explanation instead of quietly hugging the person who is crying. The Bible's advice is simple and profound. Weep with those who weep. Romans chapter 12 verse 15. An act of true compassion has more power than a thousand explanations. Let us have the emotional courage of Jesus who, minutes before he raised Lazarus from the dead, cried in front of his tomb. John 11 verse 35 With this in mind, 
Let us pray. Lord, help me to develop emotional courage. Teach me to notice my reaction to other people's emotions without judging myself, but rather remembering your unconditional love. Thank you because you will provide everything I lack. Amen.